How can I manage my Moodle site? When you first log into Moodle with your administrator account, you'll see links at the top. Home, Dashboard and My Courses, everyone sees these, and a link Site Administration which is especially for you. Click the link to access the various site admin areas or tabs. If your site isn't yet registered, register now so you receive important notifications from Moodle and so Moodle can get useful data about how sites are used around the world. From the General tab you can access features such as competencies, badges, you can add more languages so the site interface will display in languages other than English. You can configure messages, the Moodle mobile app and more. Users is where you can create and manage user accounts, check their permissions, create your site policies and handle privacy settings. A course in Moodle is a place where teachers or trainers add learning materials. From courses, you can create courses in a variety of ways and set course defaults for all courses on your site, including default activity completion and activity chooser settings. You can also configure backups here. From grades, you can manage site-wide grade settings. From plugins, you can see the elements of your site or modules which plug into it to help it work better. Some plugins come as standard. If your hosting allows it, you'll see a link Install Plugins where you can add contributed plugins, but note that with Moodle Cloud this is not allowed. Plugins is where you find default settings for many Moodle activities and features, and where you can define how users access your site and courses. From appearance you can customise the navigation, default start page, add custom headers, footers, CSS and set up user tours of your site. You can also customise the look and feel of your site with themes. The latest version of Moodle comes with two standard themes, Boost and Classic, and they have settings pages here. The Server and Development tabs give useful technical information about your site. You might need to refer to these if you have any problems. From the server, you can set up OAuth2 services, so your users can log in with their Google accounts, for example. And if you need to turn off access to your site while you're doing some work, you can enable maintenance mode here. From reports, you can access useful site information and other data. It's worth exploring each of these to see how useful they will be to you. The report builder section has a link, custom reports, where you can configure and share custom site reports. Development, like server, is a technical area but it's helpful to know that if you have a problem with your site, you can turn on debugging here to display error messages that can help troubleshoot what is wrong. From Experimental, click Experimental Settings to enable sharing to MoodleNet and to enable communication providers. This allows integration with communication providers such as Matrix. We look at these in other videos. And finally, there's no need to remember all these settings because you can simply use the search to quickly locate what you want. So for example, if we wanted to know where to find the site policy settings, just type site policy and you can go straight there. You can also bookmark frequently used settings. When you're on a page you want to bookmark, click the block draw top right and then click bookmark this page. You'll have it saved for easy access next time you need it. To summarise, the site administration link provides access to the admin interface. A search field and admin bookmarks block are available for quickly locating settings.